Pittsburgh is looking for a few angels. While we don't need them right now, we will when the snow starts falling. It's for the Snow Angels program. Volunteers will be matched with elderly neighbors and those with disabilities, making sure driveways and sidewalks are shoveled. Signups are now open online. And here to tell us more about that program and other services offered by the City of Pittsburgh are Wendy Urbanic and the City's 311 manager. We also want to welcome Ernest Rajacone, and he is the deputy manager of the City's Office of Community Affairs. Thank you guys for being here today. Hey, thank you for having us. So tell us about the Snow Angels uh, project. I mean, we've heard about this before, but volunteers are really needed to make this happen. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely a service that's uh, very well needed. Um, we have a lot of residents from across the city who are, you know, vulnerable, uh, whether it's due to age or disability, mm -hmm. um, where snow removal uh, on the property, on the sidewalks, is really a hardship that comes along with winter. And so what we do is we uh, get volunteers from across the city, um, match them with uh, residents that are near them, uh, neighbors, and, uh, you know, make that service happen, make that connection happen. And Ernest and Wendy, what I love about this, too, is, okay, you are helping them, but aren't you also making connections with maybe neighbors that you don't know? Yeah, absolutely. It, uh, you know, helps build, uh, you know, cohesion within neighborhoods, helps build those relationships. Uh, it's also, we have an opportunity for uh, community groups to recruit as well, um, which helps build um, bonds in neighborhoods as well. And uh, for community groups that do uh, go ahead and recruit volunteers, uh, we have perks available that include things like being, uh, you know, for our top earning community group, they'll get recognition from the mayor and, you know, half off some races. And uh, there's also perks available like uh, free aquatics passes as well. And that's if you sign up to volunteer, right? That's if you sign up to volunteer, absolutely. So how do people volunteer if they want to? Uh, if they want to, they can just go to pittsburghpa.gov slash snowangels, or they can call 311. And that's, and what if you need a volunteer? What if you need one of these snow angels? Oh. It's exactly the same. You exactly can, the same. Yep. Okay. And so, uh, Wendy, since you're here and you're on behalf of 311, if people do have a problem in their neighborhood, if they are seeing the snow start to pile up in, in a neighborhood or, or other various problems, 311 is the place to go. Absolutely. They can call us. They can tweet us at, at PGH311. They can go online. They can use our mobile app, MyBerg. There's a lot of ways to get in touch with us. And, and tell us how it works. When you call 311 and report the problem, what should you expect moving forward from there? Well, it depends on the issue type. If you're calling for snow, we do need some time to get the trucks through their routes before we can actually process requests. Um, but we try to give folks an idea of what's going on. And we're going to have the snow plow, up, snow plow tracker up and running, which will be an added tool that residents can use. I know a lot of people get impatient when the weather starts to get pretty nasty and it takes a while for the drivers to get through. But you guys will at least take that information in. Are you able to then send it to Public Works? Absolutely. Okay. Great. Yeah, we'll always keep a list of all the roads that have called. Um, we have been talking about this a lot because many people are taking down the Christmas decorations and ready to kind of move on to the three month lull before spring gets here. <laughs> um, there are so many great locations where you can drop off your tree. Yep, so we have uh, 10 different locations throughout the city, everything from Sheridan to Brighton Heights, uh, all over the city, uh, different locations, 10 different ones. Uh, PittsburghPA.gov is where you can find a map of all of them, and the program will be running through January 26. Uh, the trees that are being uh, brought to these drop-off locations are being recycled and used in mulch that will be given out free to the public during the spring. So it may not be the last you see of your Christmas tree. Yep, it won't be the <laughs> last. <laughs> mulch. <laughs> okay, L at least we're thinking about spring. Thank you guys so much. I really you. appreciate it. And look for more on these services on the City of Pittsburgh website. We posted that link for you at kdka.com slash PTL. And don't forget to sign up to be a snow angel if you have the time.